Scent land, the land of scent. Hello and welcome everybody, Chris back with yet another fragrance review and this time we're looking at a great classy fougere fragrance released by the house of Nino Cerruti back in 1990 and the parfumeur of this fragrance is Martin Gras, the great Martin Gras and the fragrance is called Cerruti 1881 pour homme. Again the release here is 1990. And there's many ways to describe this fragrance. First of all, it's an absolute stunning uh, fougere example of a fragrance. It, it really is. It stood its test, the test of the times, right? It slightly has changed the, 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 the color of the, of the juice and the strength and the overall um, push of the fragrance has been a bit um, sort of slowed down a bit you know has been probably a bit modernized compared to what it was before the juice when it came out in the early 90s as i say was a bit more sort of into that golden direction now it's this almost see-through type of stuff this vaguely green um fragrance or liquid in this fantastic looking bottle the bottle remained the same cerruti 1881 obviously referring to the family tradition there uh, they had a, a woolen um, business and that was founded by uh, the Cerruti family back in 1881 that's what the 1881 uh, number is referring to but I love this this great this great bottle it's fantastic and there was an ad in the German um, TV back in the early 90s when this Actually, this this bottle came out of the of the um, wall of the stone wall. It came out and then it materialized into a bottle and filled up with juice. And this is also why I chose this uh, because it really looks like the ad from that time, 1881, Nino Cerruti Purom. Um, what you need to know about this fragrance, I don't go into a breakdown. I'll, I'll pick a few notes that you smell. As I said, it's classy fougere. It has everything that a classy fougere needs to have. But to me, this is probably one of the best. There are great classy fougere citrus fragrances, uh, Chanel pour Monsieur, or uh, I won't go into all the names there. Um, and they're all fantastic. They're all gentlemen-like, and, and they all have this citrus, mossy, piney aspect. But this is a bit, m bit more modern. Okay, this is this is more woody as well i think even though it's not as the current version is not as um in your face as the original was maybe that's even a, a plus because the at least on my skin underneath the shirt spraying a good few sprays the the longevity does not really suffer it's a, it's a good um eight to ten hour longevity with this one especially if you apply it on clothes and hair as well so what you get is a modern type of fougere okay um but not nothing nothing like the fougeres of today they all refer to be fougere i don't know where bleu de chanel is fougere but yeah maybe maybe i'm wrong there to me this is fougere okay why because it's green it's woody it's citrusy it has this how it smells it has this um oak moss juniper berries fresh um slightly citrusy piney swirl going on straight from the start and it dries down into a great reliable gentlemanly um yet always fresh um bright woody smell where the pine and and the yolk moss and the juniper berries and the citrus are still kind of um lingering around but the the, the woodiness takes over after a while this is also great this is also the reason why you should apply it on skin with a good few sprays and clothing as well because on clothing uh, the overall citrusy uh, juniper berry aspect uh, will remain stronger while on skin it will dry down quicker to the sandalwoody piney um, uh, arrangement or, or, or blend that you get uh, at the very base with this. 
overall i think it's a great signature fragrance i think it's a great very versatile fragrance in winter in spring and summer in autumn any day um any time of the day it's easily a dinner fragrance but easily uh, ready to go out to work hit the hit the road hit the road jack type of fragrance okay so an absolutely versatile fragrance and again it stood the test of time it's still out there martin gras the parfumeur on this fragrance has done a fantastic um, eternal job on this one and i could go on and on and on telling you how refreshing how mind-blowingly refreshing classy fougere this fragrance smells like maybe i'm a bit kind of you know i'm another generation too I, so so i still cherish and appreciate this one this fragrance a lot maybe uh, to those people who have grown up with more recent fragrance releases they say it's kind of a dated or old manish because of the pine and oak moss the way the pine and the oak moss are used here or maybe kind of more old school um type of um fragrance making okay or fragrance blending yet at the same time if you give it a shot if you really want to have a green woody classy slightly citrusy juniper very fresh uh, amazing fragrance go with this one and apply apply well you know but i could go on telling you how this smells and how fresh it is and what the what the overall impact on you is but i'd rather show it to you instead of telling you you know i'll really show you now the what happens how you feel when you apply this fragrance so this is ladies and gentlemen how you feel when you apply Ceruti 1881 pour on watch this this is how you feel Mwah. Cheruti 1881. <laughs> Wonderful. Fougere at its very best. Take care. Bye.